Morning everybody. It's uh it's I don't know what day it is, it's Wednesday morning. Um I'm done the plot, I've got work this afternoon. Um I've come down the plot so that I can install my camera. Um so I'm gonna put my camera in, uh which I've got here. I'm just making sure that it's all working uh, with Wi-Fi and things like that. So um I'm gonna just crack on with this, get this done. And I'm just going to pop it into the place just for a temporary location just to see if everything's running up and running and then I'll put it into its more permanent home um, later on. So uh, I'll just give you a quick look to see what it's like once I've got it in position. Obviously that won't be its final position but I just want to see if it's all up and running. So just to show you again, um, I've got the camera positioned up there. I'll put a little picture at the side here for what, um, what I'm doing. And for the intercom system, let's say I'm at the allotment at the minute. Leslie's at home, and uh, I've told Leslie to give her a shout, <laughs> so we can hear her. So that's Leslie at home. Are you not going to ask us what I'm doing, like? Looks like you're recording. I am recording. I don't know what it's going to sound like on the way back, but I can hear you loud and clear. But more than likely but uh, anyways like i said that sound that's good enough for me um like i said the picture's nice as well um so that is going to get moved from there it's all up and running it's all working it's uh, the wi-fi is working as well which is great now what i'm going to do i'm going to move that from there in its final position because it's not staying there and uh, i'm going to check a couple of these leaks out see what they like because uh, i might have a show which i can take them to so let's see what they like I've just come next door to come and have a look and see what's going on with the umbrellas and things under the marrows and I've come down to the bottom of the garden to take some um, some glads and I've come down to the bottom section here and the garden fairies have been <laughs> I don't know who's been in and done this but they're getting rid of all of that all of this has been done on the bottom It's all been tidied up to here. I'm going to have to ring Grant that to see if he's been and done that. Because I tell you what, what a hell of a difference that makes. Just coming in and having a look and you actually see all the flowers and everything now, which is great. Hey, I'm chuffed to bits with that. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but I'm going to have to thank them, find out and thank them. But anyhow, um, let's get cracked on. Let's see, the morals are doing absolutely fine. I've just come to inspect the, the, if any damage or anything like that. Um, looks like I've got a bit of blight on the potatoes. I don't know if it's blight or if it's just die back. Um, I think it's blight, to be honest. But we should have some potatoes under there anyways. I'll have a look and see what's happening with them. Um, the morals are doing fantastic under here. I've just had a quick, quick repair this um, cover. I'll have to tape over the top of the covers. Um, my dealers have taken a batter in there. So they're, they're down because I haven't supported them, of course, but just neglect, but I'm not bothered about them. Um, Marrow is still looking fantastic. I don't know what to do with these two. Yeah. Because they're a little bit stumpy. I don't know. I'll have a laugh to wait and see. But this one here at the top as well, this one's getting uh, bigger and bigger, which is great. And the flowers are still looking beautiful as well even though they've been battered all over i've just done some de-weeded them carrots there as well so i've just been in here just de-weeded around the carrot i've got some nice uh, nice tops on here for the sweet candle but we'll see what's on the other side of them when the time comes i'll just quickly grab these from the giant potatoes i've neglected these as well it'll be interesting to see what's underneath i'm sure i've already showed you I actually had a much around a little while ago and uh, I actually pulled one up by mistake. And if that's anything to go by, I'll be pleased with the potatoes coming out of them. So I'll just stick that back under there so that it doesn't green off the sun. So yeah, uh, right, I'm going back next door now. now just before I take um, take us to back the next door and check upon a few other things here. Uh, Oh no, I think I've lost one of my cucumbers. Where the bloody hell's that fallen from? Oh, that's fallen from the top. Oh, no way. Oh man. I can't believe I've lost that. Dang it. Never mind, that's not what I wanted to show you. Look at these blighters. Caterpillars chewing away at me leeks. 
one, two, three, four. Size of the bloody poo drops, man. I'm going to dispatch them now. I'm devastated with this. I can't believe that's falling down from there. I'm down to one. I thought that's something that looked different. Oh, it's such a shame, man. I can't believe that. Support. There's a lesson learned. Decent support. So, here's the lesson learned straight away. So, I'm getting a bit of gutter in just to hold that into place. Um, ideally, I need to get some stockings and things, um, which I'll do on this one. Uh, these, that, that one's not going to be ready for a show. Um, that's the only one I've got left. Uh, whether or not that's ready, I don't know yet neither. Uh, I've never grown these before, but at the minute, it's a bit, that one's the biggest cucumber I've ever grown. This one is the second biggest one I've ever grown. It is a decent sized cucumber. That'll be going home now. Um, the caterpillars, I've dispatched of them. I've had a quick look at these leeks. These leeks are, they're all right. I don't know if they'll make, uh, make the cut. Uh, the Ridgedale show is still on. Um, I think I may take this one, the Ridgedale, I'm not too sure. But uh, that's the beginning of October. Um, right, so let's go back into the, the other polytunnel. Stop getting distracted. And uh, we'll check see what them ones are like. Right, I've got four CSX left. I've taken a few leave, a few flags off. Um, this one is sound. Button's nice and tight there as well. It's starting to white off, so I need to put this back on. So I'm going to, this one, I'm hoping to have. Um, tonight it's a good size as well. But, uh, let's say, bearing in mind, like I said last year, it was 13 and a half. Let me get me, me tape measure out. So it's just shy 17 inches round. So in that, I, I can literally lift that out now because it's sound on both sides. The only problem is there's a slight bit of greening on, which you can see the green bit here. Um, so that's one. I've taken this right back down. I've taken a few flags off and chopped these. The reason why I'm doing these and not taking them all the way off is because if you leave them, they go a bit paperish and it forms more roots and it doesn't look as nasty when you take these off um, at the base. But that's starting to split that one there. It's also splitting the next set of flags as well. So the button is up here, which is fine. Um, but let's see, I might lose a couple of inches on that one. Um, so I'm not too keen on that one. This one should be fine as well. Like I say, once again, it's just split a couple there. By the time I just snip across the top of there, if I measure these, this one and that one as well, we'll have a look. That's around about the same size as well. Just above 17, but I've noticed a problem with this one. And if I take you in, you can see here, inside, it's starting to rot there, which is no good at all. So I might lose that one. There you go, this grown leaks my lot, you like. Um, the last one here looks to be absolutely fine. This one's 17 and a half inches. By the time they all die back off, still got four weeks to go. That one should be all right as well. So I'm going to get these wrapped back up. Um, but I might be able to get this one and that end one out um, for leaks this year. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, these three in the middle don't think they're going to make it. I was told that they wouldn't make it in any case, so that's what I, I didn't get my hopes up for it. Quick peek in the onion house. I didn't leave the tap on this time. This is just with the sheer amount of rain. Um, I've got a bit of a pond again, but the beds will soak them up in any case. I'm not going to get into here today, but never mind. Well, I made my decision. Uh, I'm not going to show anything in that uh, in, in the pot leak show. Um, I, I've got two leaks, and I'm not going to stress myself over them two leaks. This year has been a whitewash, as it has been with a lot of other people as well. A um, few more lessons learned. I've got there's the, the Ridsdale show, which is uh, in October, which I might have one leak for. But um, hopefully I'll just I'll, I'll keep a hold of that and see what happens with it. Um, but uh, other than that, I'm just leaving everything else. Um, I'm now going to be set in the mood for getting things tidied up, for example. This um, tomato greenhouse is the tomatoes are practically nearly done. Um, and basically the start and for preparations for 2021 uh, is going to start and commence. So that's me done for today. I need to go and get some dog food from the allotment shop. Um, yes, they do sell dog food. And then I'm going to start work. So I'll say I'll put a plan together for tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Morning. It's uh, it's now Friday morning. Um, I'm having some issues at home and stuff like that with the car and things. The battery's not charging, so I'm going to get them sorted out on the early mornings and I'm off. I'm going to measure the the big marrow, and I'll uh, it's I'll show you the size it is at the minute in inches, and I'll also show you something else because I found something else about me uh, allotment fairy.
So the big mower there, I've got the tape on it from the neck all the way down to the base. It's currently measuring 46 inches, 46, 47. Um, so it just gives you the, the size of how big this is. It is, it's huge. And if I just stick this tape across the side here, the widest part, how's should going around it? It's going around and from that side to that side, we're talking about 31 inches. And that's not even the circumference all the way around. So this thing is getting massive. I just need to keep an eye on it because I don't want it splitting or anything. I don't want to get it too big, too quick. I want to sort the parasol out today as well. I need to put the cover over the top, like a bit of string, sort of from lifting up over. That one over there is doing fine. It's getting bigger and bigger, which is marvellous. And I've got um, I've got these two here, which are from Lee Herrington's seed. Uh, they're short and stumpy. I'm not overly keen on them, to be honest. I'll have to ask a few questions, but because uh, I might end up just pulling this whole plant out if it's not going to produce. And I'll just leave this one and I'll leave that one on. And uh, I've got another marrow grown here as well, a secondary one on the vine. So time will tell, we'll see what's what. I might leave that one on because by the time that one comes off in three or four weeks time, that one will probably be the same size as, uh, as that one there. So like I say, I'm just playing around here at the minute. So yes, like I said the other day, I've got a, somebody's coming down and somebody's been in and uh, taking all the weeds out down here from the bottom all the way up here and it looks like a little bit more has been done as well. <laughs> so it's been done there as well. I found out who it was actually. Um, I was chatting to uh, Tommy's wife, um, just in general, just having a chat with a lot of my neighbours. She was asking a lot of questions in regards to what I do because she's seen the marrows at the top of this garden here as well. Um, and I was just telling us is I would love to have the flowers all back up again down the side here as well because Tommy takes our flowers down from the uh, the, the dahlias and things because I just tell them help themselves um, and uh, <laughs> bless us she's taking it upon herself to come in because she can get in um, for the bottom um, section and she's uh, and she's done some de-weeding for that flower bed um, which is absolutely amazing just uh, I was gobsmacked when I found out. Um, so I'm going to get, obviously, to give us some more flowers and things as well. I'll get a nice little gift for that because, like I say, it makes a hell of a difference in the bottom of that garden there as well. Um, but yeah, found out who the fairy was. <laughs> um, my camera system, I've getting that sorted out. Um, the battery on the, I need to get the battery sorted out for um, the Wi-Fi box because that has uh, basically run out after a couple of days uh, with the solar light because it's not been much sun. So um, I've got things in action for that. Um, temporary batteries and stuff like that until I get proper solar brought in the lot. But let's like say lessons learned. Right, I'm going to head over to my grandma's because I'm going to go and fix our TV and uh, I'll catch you over the next couple of days. Hello, happy Sunday morning. I'm in my shed at the minute. I'm just busy checking up on here because I haven't been in for a couple of days. And you can tell because the plants needed a good drink. So I'm just getting me called Cox and Mills um, A and B, um, some moonshine in there as well, and uh, giving them a good drink. Uh, I'll give you a quick show of what they like, and then uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to so be doing. Both the lights are still going all, going great. Um, the plants needed a drink, as you can see. The leaves are all floppy. I'm having a massive problem in here with these chilies with green fly. No matter how much I spray them, they're still coming in, and they're still taking over. I'm coming in, I'm squashing them all as well when I get a chance to. Uh, I have had an issue with... Uh, with snails, with us leaving the door open, so that's something else I'll have to look into as well and get stuff sorted out. But um, other than that, they're still looking green, still looking healthy. They're only in five litre pots, so for the fruits, um, we're getting some good fruits on there still. So Joe's long, nice dark green colour that. I'm looking forward to seeing them ripen off. And none of the spider for my light as well, exactly the same. Um, these uh, need less, less of a drink. I've been taking all the bottom leaves off there, the ones I've been dying back. So even though I've got good ventilation in here now, I still don't want any uh, grey mould, because uh, that can cause a problem. Uh, I'm still getting some nice fruits on here as well. So we'll have a good shot with the chilies this year. This year. So these are the ones under the lights. Um, the carrots, the hashtag carrot bottle challenge. Um, they're doing fantastic. Look at the top growth on that. Absolutely loads of top growth on that. I'll make a good uh, giant carrot with that if I planted it out. Um, but as you can see, the roots are still looking fantastic at the bottom here. I'm looking forward to seeing how this one turns out. It shouldn't be too much longer before I lift them, actually. I can't remember what I, when I um, 
when I saw them, so I'll have to go back and have a quick look. Um, I've got the other one at the back there as well. That's got nice roots on it. And also this one yeah, which has uh, got some still, again, nice some nice roots on. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing how they go. Anybody that's joining in, I'd still like to see uh, your efforts as well. Um, just give you a quick look on the onions. So on the onions, yeah, we've got different stages of dryness. Um, so they're all drying off, of course. Um, this is the big one that I took to the um, Benedictine show. Uh, I've just got that drying off in here and I'll put that back for seed. Um, we've got the other ones here. So this one was the, one of the first ones that I lifted, uh, following by this one and all the way down, all the way down to the latest one that I've lifted. And that's these ones here. Um, so they're all drying nicely. They're all getting the nice, as you can see the difference for the colours. You see they're, they're still green there, whereas this one is more brown. And this is the kind of colour that I'm after. I want them to be nice and dry, no marking or anything like that. Um, I have actually wrapped the little one, which I'll show you as well. And I'll show you uh, how I go about doing the wrap as well. Um, so wait, keep an eye out for that. But these are drying off nicely. And uh, I've still got a couple of more to pull from the allotment as well. School next week. And it looks like my me, um, me shed's been used as a laundromat now as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going back in for my breakfast and uh, what I'm going to happen today is we're going to get a, a special guest, um, Tim from Gardener's Paradise, who's been missing for a while, is coming down with his uh, fiancée Shona and daughter as well, I do believe. Um, so they're going to be coming down to the garden to see how things have changed since the last time they've been. And uh, like I say, Tim's been missing, so it'd be nice to see if he's still alive. <laughs> um, so they're coming down. We're going to go for lunch and, uh, and then I'm going to get cracked on with a few jobs on the garden. So I'll see he's down there. Right, down on the plot, me and the kids and the family have just been for a dinner down at the Commissioner's Quay, down in Blythe. Um, it, was, it was quite nice. Uh, it was nice to see uh, the future sister, I know, Tracy, um, as well. Uh, she works down there. Anyhow, whole family's at the plot. The kids are out uh, gallivanting. I don't know what they're doing, but as you can see, me and Leslie here are in the first tunnel. Um, I came in and the first thing I noticed was that the one large cucumber that I've got left, um, the biggest one, the support on the side has come, come loose. So I've just quickly sorted that out again. Um, this time it's been done properly. Um, so we've got a bit of, well, I've got a bit of tidying up to do in here. Uh, I've got the tomatoes to, to um, help us up as well. A couple of tomatoes to support. I've got this cucumber here, which needs going to need supporting as well. So I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up in here, pop these up to the side and put these on a time lapse. Well, me and Leslie are getting on with the top greenhouse. Elizabeth decided to take it upon herself to pick all of the tomatoes off these plants. So thank you very much for your help, sweetheart. I'm going to get them off because, to be honest, the, all of these tomatoes are pretty much done in here because we'll be chopping them down and emptying out and getting everything clean, cleaned up and tidied. So, thank you for your help. Well, I forgot my car. With my car being broken, all the stuff's in my car and we've came down in Leslie's car. So, I've left my camera stand and things at home. So, I'm just going to have to show you it before and after. So, here's before. I'm going to lift a few things out. And, uh, let's see, the tomatoes, I'm going to sort out the tomatoes as well and get them... Uh, supported especially that one that one there it's a big one but i'll show you afterwards so i've seen us a bit well me, me help's not very helpful because just sat doing doing nothing nah. <laughs> we're getting, here, we're getting a lot of the floor tidied up and stuff as well and getting rid of a lot of the um the excess um excess leaves and stuff um this side is done all of this side apart from the carrots in the box in the tub at that side all sorted the onions in the um, air pots are all done as well so i'm going to get them taken out and get the air pots cleared out and cleaned out um they like say i didn't really have a really good go with the air pots uh, with the feeds and things like that but i'll be better prepared for next year because now i know where they can go and stuff like that um i mean they'll not be going in here they'll be going elsewhere but uh i might even take them home i don't know but like i say I've not really given them a good chance, so next year will be a lot better. I'll be putting onions in them next year. Um, I'm going to be taking the, all of the leeks out on this side because the leek, the, the Cumbrian that I had left, which was the nicest one, it's split. So that's coming out and split a fair few bits, fair few flags as well. So that's no good. So that's going to get pulled out and we're going to get them all eaten up. So Leslie's going to record here while I get uh, everything pulled. Right, I've already pulled one out. I'm going to get this one out. This one was the biggest cumbrian that I've grown. Um, and like I say, unfortunately, it's, uh, it's went. I will be getting another 
two dozen Cumbrians next year and I've already gotten them ordered uh, from a friend of mine and also I've got the uh, Yorkshire Giant leak um, which I've got next door so I've got my leaks ready to go next year because that's all I'll be growing the Yorkshire Giants I'll be growing in buckets and the Cumbrians will be growing in the beds next door there'll be new beds next door because I want to get three or four beds in there so all I'm going to do here because I'll leave the roots in if I was pulling for the show I'd want the roots on as well but I'll just dig them all in anyways There we go. Just put it on the side, don't forget about it. I'll give this a clean off and see what problems there was underneath. See if there's anything underneath. But as you can see there, it burst and it's rotted and it's went down a good few flags there, which is a nightmare. That would be no good. So it's very quickly there. That's the leak. Dressed. The tight button. Which is there. And it's all awful. I wouldn't be showing that anywhere. But at the end of the day. It's pretty much the only company I've getting out apart from the other ones there. But this will probably be the biggest one. So uh, I'd say this year has been a failure with the Cumbrians. <laughs> but never mind. It's another year, another lesson learned. So speaking about failures, there's another one. I've just uh, pulled the, the flag back and all of a sudden you've got a horrible, horrible smell. Smelly rot, basically. And it's basically went all the way through the leak and in the middle of the leak, it's all mushy. It's all, oh, sorry. That's horrible. Right, I'm gonna get rid of that now. Sorry, I need to get, right. So this is, um, this is Pete Edwards' back garden, Kelsey, and he saved himself from saved seed. Um, it's not as big as the others, um, but it is a good size. In fact, there was a second. I'll get me tape measure and we'll see what the size of it is. Move them around. I think this was about 17, 18. Oh, tell lie, 20 inches. So it's actually, it's actually a good. It's exactly the kind of size that I'm after here. So this will be one of the. I've still got lots of seed left from um, Pete's uh, from Pete's seed. Um, so I will be putting. Half, half of me grow next year would be my own seed and also half a peat seed because this is actually a lovely shape. It's exactly the kind of shape that I'm after here. And I've grown them in the 10 litre pots and just for an extra bit, as you can see, they're coming out the bottom. This was actually in this hole here. I know it was there when I picked it up, but if you have a look on there, the roots are starting to come, go into the, 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 the ground as well. You see there? So they're going into the ground. I did plant these a little bit later and uh, straight at the pots. So now we know for next year what I need to do is I'll grow them in pots until the roots are right at the bottom and then when they're right at the bottom that's when I'll plant them out just like that and then it's done. But as of for this one I'm going to get it out just as easy doing that. Look at that, look at the roots in there. Fantastic. But I don't need the roots so I'll get my blade wherever I've just put it. It's not the best to put the, the standing blade down and lose it, right? So there we go, taking it out, all sorted. This is a beautiful shaped onion for me. I like the look of this onion. It's uh, it's exactly the kind of the shape that I'm looking for, the size I'm looking for. And uh, so that is absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna definitely put this back for seed for next year. Um, and obviously keep it separate from the ones that I've grown myself as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my snips here. I'm just going to chop that off. And it's less to carry. Get it clean up. Get this in the car and take it home. Put it with the rest of the onions to dry off. Right, so the, um, the onions that I've got in the air pots here. The old air pots, auto pot should I say. Um, I'm not expecting these to have filled out this pot here. Um, because I've to put them in late if you remember so um i'm going to get them out now i'm just going to take the whole thing out i'm not going to cut the roots we'll see what it's like and then we'll do a comparison upon next year as well next year like i say it'll be a lot better next year i'll say that every year going forward as well so leslie I'll quickly put it on the uh, time lapse here and i'll quickly get the root this uh, onion out the onions just pulled out which is the roots of snap basically i pulled it a bit too hard so i'm just going to lift that out there the roots are getting to the bottom. 
the bottom mount. Yeah, they, were, they didn't even reach the bottom, the roots, where they have the edge, the edge there, but uh, all this compost will be good compost to use. So I'm going to reuse the compost for potatoes and I'm going to put this compost in the bucket for next year. And after, one side anyways. So this side's all being cleared out. Um, all the onions and the leeks are all up against there, which is great. I've got to separate them out and put them somewhere I know what's what. Um, I'm going to move them carrots out of there and there's some bit, I pull them out a little bit into that section there once I move all this veg. Um, the carrots can stay there as well. And when I get to the back section here, I'm going to put some clapton cauliflower in just like I have at the back there, because the cauliflowers will pull up everything that's out of the soil so that I can start fresh um, for next year. So um, that's what the plan is with them. Um, right, now next task I'm going to get sorted is I'm going to get make sure that these tomatoes are all um, supported, especially that one there. That one's a good, got a good support because it's close to the, uh, the the stemming anyways. But the likes of this one here, that one's going to need supporting as well because that's a uh, that's, it. that's a rather large one. So and it's starting to change colour as well. So that's nearly finished. Um, I've actually got a couple here which are starting to grow because this was a late one. Another one there. And I've got another one which is at the top here as well. So I've got three on here all together, and the top's been nipped already. So, we're going to have a play with these tomatoes anyways. So, I've supported this tomato here with a, a bit of the underlay and also with the string just to keep it up. Um, but also, I'm going to make sure that the side shoots are taken off as well because, like I say, there's been a bit of the neglect, neglect in here. So, I'll show you the size of these side shoots um, on here because I need to get in. Make sure I don't cut the main stem. Look at that. I missed one. <laughs> I need to check the other ones to see if there's any more. Uh, I've already taken some off the other ones. Um, but I don't think there's any more on here. No, it doesn't look like there is. But there is, uh, there is a truss on the back side here, which I don't want. So I'll get rid of that. Because I only want the, all, all the energy from this plant. From this plant here, I want to go in that tomato. And the tomato, the male tomato, <laughs> as I showed you previously, is getting rather larger. <laughs> but if I have a look at the other ones as well, put them down there now. So I've got that one, I've got this one, which I think is the biggest. There's a few, like I said before, there's a few more that's uh, forming on here. This is a later one because it didn't really have any, any to go off, but this one's starting to on the edge of the leaves as well, it's crazy. Make sure there's not one that's going to there as well. That up there. It's that one. There's none on this one. So that one will probably end up coming out. But this one, I've got another one on here as well, as you can see. And I've just supported this one in the main stem itself as well. It's about the same size as my hand. I think this one's going to weigh more than that one. But I think that one's going to get bigger. Um, it's starting to change colour now, so they're starting to ripen off now as well. So I don't think I'm going to get any more larger, which is a shame. But I should beat me, me personal best from last year. I think it was 500 grams, which when I put it on the table looked pitiful. It looked like a cherry tomato against the novice in the novice section. So um, like I say, there's, it, it, beating personal best this year is the way forward. And at the minute, I think I'm managing that as well. Well, that's all I've tidied up. So I'll just get some uh, some holes cut at the back, and I'll get some cabbage, uh, some cauliflower seeds in. I would normally have um, the spring cabbage seeds in to do the job of the collies, but uh, I never use the spring cabbage because nobody eats it in our family. Um, but nevertheless, that's the same. Like I say I'll put the collies in and uh, see what happens with them. So thank you very much, Leslie, for your help in the tunnel. Um, like I say not a bad harvest, to be honest. I want to grow big vegetables. There's the they're, they're big vegetables no matter if they're ready sure ready or not so these will be used these will be eaten that one won't that onion won't these three onions even though they are sound and i could put them back for seed um i'm not going to bother um because they just they just don't look nice in regards to shape uh other than like you see see what i mean by the shape there that one there is more uniformed and a bit of a round like a, like a bulb shape this one here it's round and it's got like a flat little bottom bit section on there. And this one, it's misshapen at the bottom as well. So 
they're not ideal for setting back i want to keep this one going because i like the look of it um so yeah cracking job time to go in the middle greenhouse and see how elizabeth getting on and take out the tomatoes from there so i've just received a message a phone call should i say uh, unfortunately tim uh, from garland's paradise can't make it today um which leads on to me suspicion that uh, Sean and his fiance has killed them off um so but now like i said i've spoken to them um it's uh, their daughter ebony she's not feeling too well so they've done the right thing staying where they are uh, thank you very much uh, for calling that as no tim we'll organize it that time like i say it's a shame that you couldn't make the day because it is a nice day um but we'll sort something out for sooner uh for another time so um we're going to check the middle like i say go and check the middle greenhouse for the tomatoes and then uh, have a look at see what else i can get tidied up um before we call it a day for today so in the poly tunnel here uh, the new one i've just taken all that giant marrow down so that's all been tidied up so that's that section sorted out. Now I need to get them because we need to go into the middle greenhouse because like I say, I'm in a mood to tidy up now. So middle greenhouse is getting sorted. So I'm going to snip all of these tomatoes and just compost them all and I'll sort out the buckets another day. Nice guy. Hi. Yeah, you do it. What? Scissors, the bottom of the stems, about two inches up, snip them. All the tomatoes at the bottom, at the base, at the base of the stem, about two or three inches up, snip it. I don't know inches. There. Well, there, about there. Right, you do all of them, right? And then we'll take the tops out. So as you can see, that's in here done. Tomatoes are sorted for 2020. Um, I'll be doing the same again next year with tomatoes in here, but I'll be having just one side of sun gold and I'm gonna grow some Roma next year instead of growing them in the ground in the back, um, the bottom greenhouse. Um, because to be honest, I didn't rate the Shirley's. Um, and I want to grow plum tomato for sauce. So uh, I've got at the minute I've got 60 litres of compost on this side, 60 litres of compost on this side. The used compost will be reused in the 30 litre tubs. I'll be able to get 120 litres of compost so I can get four, um, four 30 litre tubs filled with all this used compost for some potatoes for next year, for some short potatoes anyways. Uh, we'll see what uh, the blue bell come up as um, and also the, the, the chits that's in the in the other polytunnel but these are done they're ready for the to be cleaned out the bottom bench is ready to be put in for uh for obviously getting things sorted for next year oh, the wife's playing with the beans <laughs> <laughs> they're on our beans should we say um i just want to see if i can get around to the back there see which ones we've got so as you can see she's got some uh large runner beans there a lot of that go for long runner beans uh the biggest one i've still got is 27 inches long what's that one like leslie the one that's to the left the left that one, pull that one out. Something like it's not long. Oh, yeah, well, it would be if it was straight. <laughs> but um, for three plants, I say two plants, sorry, we're getting some cracking long runner beans off, and I'll keep the seed for next year. Pumpkins getting bigger and bigger. I do need to put a cover over these to protect the skins um, so that they don't get too hard because if they get hard under the sun, then they can't split easily. Well, like I say, the size of this thing it's huge. I'll tell you what, I'll get Leslie to take the camera and I'll kneel down next to it. See there. Oh, that's a canny weight that actually. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a peculiar looking um, pumpkin. Um, there is another one of these at the back, which you're not going to be able to get to and see. Um, so like I say, I'll just show you this one for the time being. But I should have two for Halloween anyways. And uh, hopefully we we'll might be able to see if we can get Kyle in it. <laughs> Literally, that's how big I want to see if we can get it. The new thing that I grew this year, cool Rabi. Um, this is a uh, next year it's getting a lot bigger i've just moved it around and getting some rid of some dead leaves um the bottom of it it's not as big as it could be uh, i've never grown one before but uh like i say it's a personal best it's got lots and lots of side growth on lots and lots of pups a nice big pup on the top as well and obviously it's all the way around the back as well so how you show these is you take all the foliage off and then you wear the kohlrabi itself so that's exactly what i'll be doing but i've had a bad spell of the caterpillars as you've already seen so i've just been going around here just seeing on all the leaves and uh killing them all off look at that look at that what a shame never mind but uh yeah that's a that's the state of the kohlrabi as well the long spag chili or sorry the long chili should i say uh, that i planted out they're doing all right this one here decided to just curl it upon itself <laughs> that's really strange you can't i think it's maybe two and one uh, I don't know, but I'm just going to 
I'm just going to leave it. Um, the other ones, they're coming on all right. I did look at the world record. I think the world record was 49 centimetres. Uh, these are nowhere near that like. Um, but like I say, these ones here are nice and long. That's probably longer. I'd love to get the tape measure out and have a look and see which ones are the longest actually. In fact, let's go and have a look. It's going to be a bit difficult doing this one hand. But, let's see if I can just sort this here. So, I know it is. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, I have measured it off camera. It is 29 to 30 centimetres long. And that's the longest one that I've got. Um, as you can see, for on my arm here. It's a kind of long chili. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what I'm after anyways. Um, like I said, I've got a few plants to go off. Thanks again to Seb for the chili seeds. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can do better again next year from here. But, uh that's the state of play with those. In the bottom greenhouse here, I'm going to be able to have a little bit of a harvest with the normal trees, the, the um, cayenne. So I've got some nice ones ready to go there. Same off these ones up here. Same here as well. Um, let's see, these have just been neglected. I wasn't really growing chilies this year, but never mind. In the back here, I've got one, that last one, um, Carmen cucumber, is still firing away. So it looks like we've got a cucumber in there, which is great. There's two on there. So what I'll do is, I'll just tie that in. Actually, I've got a couple actually. Tie that in across there. Happy days. We might get a couple more off there. Um, mix it with going to try to put this up in the corner just to stop the wind coming through. It looks like it's blowing it in. I'm going to have to get this marigold out. Um, tomatoes or the Roma tomatoes are doing fantastic here now. Um, plenty of fruits on. I'll have to get them ones at the bottom there because they're ready. There's uh, some more fruits coming on there, which is great. I've got a big side shoot here. Get that off. I'm going to stop that. There we go. Do it one handed. Stick that in the back there. Because it's coming to the front. I see these have just been left. So they're not uh, cordon tomatoes, they're now bush tomatoes. Because I've just left the side vines and everything on them. So these need to be tidied up. I'm not going to do that today. I'll make do it tomorrow when I come down. Um, grapes. Oh, look at all of these lovely grapes. Tickle your grapes. Get them a tickle. Look at that. That set's nearly ready to go. I I'm going to have one of them. They've been well worth a wait. Oh, it's lovely, that. No, I'll leave them on. <laughs> right, let's have a look next door before we finish off for the day. I was saying the other day, I'm down next to the marrows here. Um, I'm going to keep one of these marrows on, on this side, and just let it go and see what happens. I'm not going to pull up the whole plant because there's no need to do it. I'll just see how big it gets. Now, I've taken an eeny, meeny, miny mo, and I'm going to cut this one off, and I'm going to leave this one on to grow. Um, so, in fact, I'm up. Which one do you think, Leslie? Do you think I should leave this one on or that one? Oh, I'm not sure. Which one? I'll let you decide. Because this one's attached to the main vine, this one's attached to the little side vine. Take the one off. off Take this one side. to the little side vine. Right, so I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll get rid of that one there. Get this lifted. There you go. Hey, Monty, what do you think of that? <laughs> it's a big, yeah, uh, it's a big marrow. It's a big courgette. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to fit that in the oven. <laughs> but uh, we'll give this away and we'll see how big it is, see how heavy it is. Because like I say, my um, my target is about 64 pounds this year. Um, I'm estimating this probably be about 20, something like that. Um, but we'll see what it's like on the scales. It'll probably go over the 10 pound, but we'll have a look. Right, so it's a big marrow. It's a big one. I'm going to put some more sand on because... We've reached the end and it's still pushing out, so I'm going to have to lift it up, put the sand on, push underneath, which I'm going to do now actually. Well, this is going to be fun. To get the knife and chop that side off, just put the knife down. Knife, I've already taken that bit off. Um, anything else that's close to it, 
Right, this side don't want anything rubbing on it. This thing here is much bigger than the one I had last year. Um, I think anyways. I know that they can get a lot bigger, but time will tell. And actually, we'll give this a proper measurement now, because I did put a picture up the other day of how big it was, but I didn't actually measure it correctly. So I do have an estimate estimate guide um, as to how big, the, how heavy this could be. So I just need to measure from there down down the floor, which we've got about over 55 inches there, about 55 around. And at this part here, 55 length, should I say? Fifty-five and thirty-five. So I'm just going to get me um, my measurement uh, guide out, and I'm going to have an estimate of how much this weighs at the minute. So I've got a quick calculation and an estimate guide that uh, Steve Martin kindly sent over to me. Um, this marrow at the moment, an average, is weighing in at eighty-nine and a half pounds. That's what going off the guide is. So we'll see how big it is when it comes to lifting it in. Um, for four, four and a half weeks time because um, I'll be lifting this as if I was taking it to Harrogate um, which is the third week in September so another three to four weeks left we'll see how much this bad boy weighs half ten pounds it's too heavy <laughs> so I'll have to get me that skills from home and show you when I get back home well that's pretty much it for down the allotment uh, there's one more thing I want to show you before I head home and I'll show you about the dressing of the onions and also we'll see how big that uh, that marrow is as well so my favourite glads are starting to open up now these look like the baby ones but you can see I love the colour on these and I've just left them in year after year and they just keep coming back which is beautiful so I'll have to stake them up next time I'm down all the way down here they're a lot later this year than they were the previous years, which is weird. Um, I've actually got some purple ones at the back, which I put in this year as well. Um, a lot of the fruit off the fruit trees has dropped. Uh, I've only got a few apples left, which are on here, and they're not very big neither. So it's been a bad year for apples, um, for me anyways. But they're nice and clean anyways. Pears on the other hand, from the pear blossom that we've got. It's, I've, still got some, I've still got some nice pears on there, but not as many as I thought I was going to have. So, as I've started the video, I want to again the allotment here. Um, the Wi Fi box that I've got that connects for the, uh, the, the camera, um, I've realised that the battery only lasts eight hours, um, which is no good. So, I've kind of connected to my solar battery. Now, because of the sun um, has not been out majority of the time, it only lasted three days. So, I found that the, battery, the camera went off because the Wi Fi box was uh, out of battery. So, what I've done is I've bought a new. Uh, bigger battery 20,000 um, mAh which should last for a long time so I'm just keep coming down and changing the external batteries so I've got a little one here as well which I'll plug into the solar panel and as soon as that one runs out I'll just swap them over so that's the plan with that until I get the solar light sorted out anyhow back at home see you up there well just before I headed home there I got a phone call off my grandma I tell you it went off again so I had to go and sort it out it hadn't gone off I just uh, need to change the channel over, but never mind. Um, I'm not going to get a chance to show you the onions and dressing them and tying them up. I will show you that next week, in the beginning of next week's video. So I'm going to get this video uploaded, get it all sorted. We're going up to see John and Leah. So I'll uh, I'll catch you on the premiere later on. And for, but at the moment, that's us all done and sorted for this week. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for liking. Thanks everybody for subscribing. Not too far off 3,000 subs. And thanks to all the new subscribers as well. So uh, we're going to say bye-bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, what are you doing with that, Mara? Hi. Well, you know what I'm saying. Bye, Kyle. I mean, bye. bye. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.